Good evening, everybody. I'm Morris Jones. Our top story tonight, the manhunt that kept police busy and people across the region captivated all morning long. The escape of a prisoner from police custody. Another week, another breach, this time at the IRS. Cyber attacks against private companies like Sony Pictures have galvanized Congress on new legislation. Near Oslo, Norway, two passenger trains collided early this morning. Four people died, 30 others were injured. Authorities say one of the trains was on the wrong track. And in eastern India, the death toll now stands at 72 in yesterday's train accident. A leaking gas cylinder sparked an explosion and fire that engulfed two railway cars. It's believed the gas cylinders were carried on board by a passenger. The world is an uncertain place. At these moments, decisions have to be made fast. Too often, the decision-making process is labor-intensive and based on whatever information is available. The process becomes more complex with the inclusion of allied forces or other non-governmental agencies. To help streamline that process, DARPA's Information Technology Office and laboratories from each of the services are developing NICI, the network-centric infrastructure for command, control, and intelligence. The Office of Personnel Management works to recruit and retain more than 2.7 million federal workers. They also cover 2.5 million retirees. This week, we sat down for an in-depth discussion with Catherine Archuleta, her first extensive TV interview as director of OPM. Hackers traced to China targeted tens of thousands of federal employees who applied for top secret security clearance. What can you tell us about the investigation? What I can tell you the most important piece is that no personal identification information was, uh, was uh, compromised. Every time your child logs on, they're putting themselves in danger. There are some 500 international marriage brokers, most with websites. Female clients often live in countries where they outnumber the men. I were looking for a family in that time. Lana thought an international marriage broker could find her Prince Charming. A three-month fiancé visa is arranged. Didn't he say something to the effect that you're the most expensive toy I've ever owned? Yes, he said it was a very expensive toy for him. Law enforcement figures reveal that Phoenix, Arizona is the kidnap capital of the U.S. 366 kidnappings for ransom last year. Most of the crimes involve drugs and illegal alien smuggling from Mexico. The House approving a $463.5 billion spending bill. So how did a $45 million indoor rainforest research project in Iowa get in there? I called every member of the Iowa congressional delegation to ask about the rainforest project. Democrats are out of town on a retreat. Republicans weren't available, and most senators aren't talking. You know about essential government workers, police, fire, EMTs. But what about the ones who aren't required to be on the job when there's a major storm? Many federal workers were allowed to leave early on Tuesday and didn't have to show up on Wednesday. Lawmakers did show up for work at the Capitol, but another hearing on global warming was canceled because of the ice storm. The winter storm was severe enough to hit a nerve with the Office of Personnel Management. They get upset when some workers are called non-essential. A good part of federal workers don't have to show up today. Do you think that's, that's fair? Because you're working. Uh, well, it, it is dangerous out there on the road. Do you work for the federal government? I do, sir. So you're an essential worker? I would like to think so. We were the first to tell you about sendabrick.com exactly a month ago. Kirsten Heffron starting a grassroots protest movement encouraging Americans to mail bricks to their elected officials in Washington, build a border wall, or do something about the illegal immigrant problem. They think in large degree, you know, they got the message, they heard us. So after a month-long campaign, senators got the message and got these bricks in the mail, 2,000 of them. We're going to start sending bricks to their district offices while they're on recess. Flight attendants, parking attendants, bridal attendants. By definition, they're helping you, unlike automated attendants, which annoy you. I'm Caitlin, XM's automated attendant. 
When you hear your option, you can say it. It's okay if you interrupt me. Yes, do interrupt. Sometimes if you say agent or operator, you'll get closer to a real person. Other people won't wait. So the first thing is I try zero or zero pound or pound zero or zero star, just anything to try to interrupt it. Thank you for calling Pepco. We are currently experiencing a high volume of calls, which may result in a longer wait time. Businesses are saving time and money by outsourcing. Many times the people who are answering the phone may be fluent in English, but they don't understand the nuances of our life over here. I called about my XM radio account and became a world traveler without leaving the office. Where are you? Um, we're located in Manila, sir. Oh, you're in Manila? Sir. Oh, great. How's the weather in Manila today? It's fine, sir. When the Manila customer service rep learned I wanted to cancel my account, he directed me elsewhere. Okay, I'm Morris. How are you doing today? Fine. Where are you located? I'm located in Montego Bay, Jamaica. Well, Montego Bay, Jamaica. I just talked to somebody in Manila. Bottom line, XM convinced me not to cancel my subscription by offering a couple of months free.